Now at six, it was an arrest so violent it knocked this woman unconscious as she was thrown to the ground. While the officer involved resigned last June, the case is under review right now by Miami's Civilian Investigative Panel. CBS 4's Peter Dench joins us live from Miami City Hall where the panel is discussing the incident as we speak. Peter. Well, Elliot, the civilian investigative panel has had this case for months, but they only recently received the completed file. They just started their meeting 30 minutes ago. Now, we warn you that some of you may find this video disturbing. An internal investigation sent former Miami police officer Miguel Hernandez used excessive force when arresting 20-year-old Julissa Burgos in November of 2020. Despite yelling she is pregnant, Burgos is placed in a patrol car. She then spits at Hernandez. Hernandez then grabs her by the neck and slams her to the ground, knocking her unconscious. Police say Hernandez was arresting her for vandalism after she allegedly rubbed a cigar against his car. I'm going to tell you one more time. Let's do it. I'll get some money out of you. Oh, but you don't want to have Bye, baby. Have a good one now. Bye-bye. Bye. Burgos, whose face was scraped, was also charged with criminal mischief and assault on a police officer, but those charges were dismissed. Burgos filed a complaint against Hernandez with internal affairs. He's no longer a police officer here at the city of Miami, but he's also been decertified by the state of Florida. Miami police say an internal affairs investigation was conducted, and they cooperated with prosecutors. This letter shows how Hernandez resigned on June 22nd of 2021. The day after that, the state attorney's office said Hernandez would not be charged, noting the complainant, Julissa Burgos, did not want to cooperate with the prosecution by going to trial. She was concerned about her individual case. She and her father said they were satisfied Hernandez was not going to be a police officer anymore. Now, the civilian investigative panel pros possible misconduct by Miami police. They could come up with a series of recommendations. Before he resigned, Hernandez was a 17-year veteran. We are live at Miami City Hall. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. Peter, thank you. Hernandez initially arrested Julissa Burgos for allegedly loitering and smoking at that gas station, which is not far from Marlins Park. In an official complaint, Burgos said, quote, I suffer from stress-induced seizures. I have no control over what happens.